What's up guys, it's your boy Zion, and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. Sorry I was gone for so long, and I'm guessing you guys missed me a little bit. We gained a few more supporters on the way, a few more subscribers. Um, thank you guys who joined while I was on a little bit of a hiatus. I got offered a last minute trip to go to Vegas, and you're not going to turn down Vegas. So, went to Vegas, relaxed for a couple days, I'm back, recharged, ready to get ready to pump out lots of videos for you guys. So, guess what day it is? It's Friday. So on my channel, that means it's your day. So let's go ahead and find Jer. He's actually pretty easy to find this week. He's over by the Vanguard. Um, you just have to run down here. For those of you that are new to the channel or new to Destiny, Jer's a rare NPC who shows up on Saturday and Friday night-ish. He shows up um, at Friday morning, 4 in the morning at my time. I don't know what time it is for you. And... Um, Basically, he's here Friday, Saturday, and then disappears on Sunday. He's got lots of dicks on his face and likes vibrating coins with holes in the middle, so he can put his dicks through the coins. Yeah! Uh, he's actually got some really good gear this week. He's got the insurmountable skull fort, which is an awesome, awesome helmet. It lets you recharge, regain health, I should say, all over the place. It's awesome for the hard mode crater raid. It has infusion, so you can get it health by picking up orbs or it has increased transfusion so by doing a, a super storm fist or um by doing your melee cooldown or a shoulder charge you go ahead and gain health back so awesome helmet to have for the hard mode crater raid i could see it being pretty useful in crucible too um, then the knucklehead radar, which kind of did like a niche helmet for, um, hunters, because basically the cool thing about this is you can keep your radar up with any primary. Now, this isn't too useful in PVE because you don't really need your radar. It's not like anything's going to one shot you, but it could be useful in the crucible. I never tried it out. I had one of these when the game like first started. I think this was my very first exotic. And I broke that some bitch down because I never used it once I got um, the Acclea Phase symbiote. Then the Claws of Amankara, which um, it, it basically just lets you punch stuff really fast and gives you an additional charge for Scorch and Energy Drain. So you can actually set up a whole melee build thing with um, the Claws of Amankara. But all three of these are awesome pieces of gear if you're like myself and you have one of each class. I'm going to go ahead and grind out the weekly since I haven't done that yet and pick up all three either today or tomorrow. I recommend you guys do the same if you don't already have this gear, if you have all three classes. Um, and then for his weapon, he's got the Red Death, which I already picked up. See? It's right there. But um, the Red Death is awesome because since the Pulse Rifle buff, it goes ahead and makes it the go-to gun in the Crucible. It, it's absolutely awesome because you regain health and it speeds up your reloads for getting kills. Like it rewards you for getting kills besides helping out your team or just being a total dick and being a kill whore. It helps your survivability by regening your health basically by killing stuff. So it's awesome for the hard mode crota rate if you don't have a helmet or an exotic that lets you go ahead and um, regen health by picking up orbs or anything like that. And um, it's awesome. You just kill a thrall, get some health back. Real easy. Real, real easy. Um, I definitely recommend picking up one of these if you don't already have it. Especially um, if you have an old one since it's one of the upgrades too. Don't upgrade it. Just uh, buy a new one and then break down your old one for an exotic shard. So he has his shards and a helmet engram this week. Uh, as far as his upgrades, he's got Mask of the Third Man, a Crest of Alpha Lupi, Saint Helm of Saint Fourteen, Helm of Inmost Light, Light Beyond Nemesis, Sunbreakers, Truth, Patience in Time, Plan C, Universal Remote, Red Death, Hard Light. Yeah, he's got all of those. They're um, all a shit ton of glimmer. So if you have one, especially like a Helm of Saint Fourteen or a Mask of the Third, you need to upgrade. Definitely do it. But understand, the glimmer is a real issue. Everyone has problems with Glimmer. We're all broke as shit. So be careful upgrading that. Um, as far as his telemetries, he's got Scout Rifle, Machine Gun, and Rocket. He's got two upgrades for um, Rare Sparrows if you don't have a Raid one yet. Or the Tumbler, which if you have the Tumbler, I don't know why you're using anything else. Fucking backflips. And he has Heavy Ammo. So there's no more drought, guys. We have Heavy Ammo for days. If you guys don't have like a full tower of this, yeah, 
buy it. <laughs> so that's Jared's gear in a nutshell this week. Thank you guys for dealing with me being gone the last week and still showing some support and shit. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back. I'm ready to pump out a shit ton of more videos. I'm actually going to try to mix it up this week and throw out a couple different games, see which ones stick, see which ones don't. And, um, of course, I'm still going to be talking about Destiny shit and everything, too, because there's a lot of shit I need to catch up on with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And, as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace!